All right, this is how to install and apply jQuery Lightbox plugin. Uh, so first things first, uh, go download it from jQuery Lightbox. You can just click this zip file here, and it will download. Obviously, I've already done it once. Uh, find it in Finder. Okay. Then go to your folder, wherever you have your stuff, and go ahead and throw that in there. I'm going to rename it Lightbox just to make things easier for me. Then uh, one thing you need to do, oops, one thing you need to do is put the images that are in here, this folder, drag that to your desktop, get it out of there, yeah, replace, and then uh, put it in your images folder if you have one. It's looking in your root for your images. So I'm going to take all these GIFs and put them in my images folder. Okay, so now all those images, all those light box images are now there. Okay, next thing we need to do is open the file that we want to work with. This is work.html, uh, which is right here. Okay, we need to include uh, two files at the top. We need to include the JavaScript file and the CSS file. I already have those uh, written, basically. They are here. Uh, you should do this after the J. You have to include jQuery first, and then you can use your Lightbox plugin. And mine's just slash Lightbox slash JS jQuery.lightbox 0.5. Uh, and if you look at their sample file that they give you, it has this here. But put your script here at the top, and then put the CSS here at the top. You need to have both of these for this to look correct. Next thing you need is you need to uh, you need your instantiation. So basically, you need to have script, and you can put this in any file that is called with this. I could put this in the JS file if I wanted to. Um, script, uh, you do document document dot ready function so as soon as the page loads do this and we're gonna say everything in the in the I with ha anything that has the ID main that has an it that has an a tag in it anything that has basically the ID of main which is if you look down here it's this div main anything inside of this div that's an, that's an a tag a link uh, we're gonna call dot lightbox on it okay that's all we'll have to do so now we take a look at how to make this work we have a bunch of list elements that are links now the reason that they show up as images here is because these are CSS sprites okay if you don't know what CSS sprites are see my other video but these aren't actual image tags these are just sprites all the examples that jQuery Lightbox gives you uses images but I'm going to show you that this works without actually having an image this is like I said a sprite um, so yeah go look at the sprites video if you want to know what that means um, so I have these list elements with these links in it. Basically how it works is you set the A tag equal to the image that you want it to show up as. So all my images are in my images folder, right? So all I'm going to do is change this to slash images, images slash, and I think this first one is Dymatech, so it's dimatech.gif, right? And then I'll change the next one to slash images slash lhj slash home dot png and then I'll change this one to slash images slash uh, noble dot jpg and then the last one is my site which is optical effects dot actually it has to be slash images slash optical effects dot png okay uh, now that I did all, I already have done all these, and the reason again this works is because these are a tags within this main. Okay, so now when I refresh and I click on say Dymatech, there you go, it works nice and easily. You can see it's catching all of them. Image one of twenty. Now uh, it's going to go next. Now this website I actually have uh, six or I think four different images for this particular website, but when I go next, it it goes to Noble because that's what's next on the page. So I want five images just for this one. So how do we do that? Well, we basically make some hidden images. So if I go to LHJ, basically what it does is it, the jQuery plugin looks through the order of your images. So if I go to the home page first, the next thing that I want to do is go to uh, the next page I have, which is the about page. So I'm just going to make a new A tag, and I'm going to give it a class called hidden image. Okay, now I actually need to take hidden image and in our CSS dot hidden image we're going to display none so we're going to hide these new a tags that I'm making but the point of these a tags is that they 
are after, they are in the right order on the page, even though they're hidden, okay? So now I have one, two, three, four of the same one, even though these three are hidden. So if we refresh our page, obviously nothing changes. If I click Dymatech and I go to the next one, here's the first one that we saw before. The next one used to be, um, it used to be, well, whatever the next one, it used to be uh, Noble, but now it's another LHJ because it's hidden. So now I get to cycle through my LHJ pages before I get to the Noble page. So you can also have hidden ones there too. Okay. Now there's one other aspect to this that I'm not using that you can use, and that's the title. So if I say title equals uh, this text is under the picture, right? You can obviously tell what it's going to do. So when I click on Dymatech, it takes that text and it says this text is under the picture. So you can add captions to it as well, just like that. Okay. That's a quick and easy way to install and use jQuery Lightbox plugin.